to the Dao Yi 2024 Holiday Season Special Edition. My name is Robert Kuhns, and my role in Dao Yi is Vice Chair. All of us are founding members of Dao Yi. We'd like to take this opportunity to share more information about Dao Yi, including our achievements and our future plans. My name is Laurent Morin, and I'm the Secretary in Dao Yi. I would like to introduce a brief history of Dao Yi. Uh, Dao Yi was launched in 2023 because there was a need to have an inclusive community to share knowledge and develop the practice. Dao Yi does not belong to any one of us. It belongs to the community. Even though some of us have our teaching careers, Dao Yi is not an organization which is meant to benefit us. It is meant to benefit the community. My name is Bill Bentley, and I'm the Community Outreach Manager for Dao Yi. Our mission is to promote and elevate Taoist and other traditional knowledge, including but not limited to martial arts, Shu Dao, and traditional Chinese medicine. By developing a community adhering to a nonpartisan objective standard of practice, we believe that a universal approach can break down barriers in our community and create new growth, which benefits everyone. My name is Lokesh Manveka, and I am the Dao Yi Chair. Today, I want to introduce you to our shared vision. Dao Yi strives for universal access to fundamental and necessary tools needed to continuously improve and master authentic practices. Although it's a long-term goal, with your help, our shared vision is sure to succeed. So far, we've already posted almost 30 interviews covering martial arts, energy practices, and spiritual disciplines. We've also posted many valuable articles on the Dao Yi website by well-known experts. Expect even more great content to come, so stay tuned to the Dowie channel and website. As my colleague said, Dowie will keep interviewing experts in the fields of interna uh, internal practice. We also look forward to hosting a series of roundtable discussions with community leaders to discuss key topics of interest to everyone and promote expanded opportunities to make high quality teachings available from the experts we talk to. We're also looking for new experts to be featured in our interviews. So if you want to recommend your teacher, a friend, or even yourself to appear on our channel, please contact us at info at daoe.org. We're looking forward to working with you. Let's work together to make Dao-E become a community to serve you better. Now, on behalf of the entire Dao-E team, I'm delighted to present a brief Q&A session with Master Hai Yang, where he'll introduce more about our organization the culture and history of internal practice and answer some commonly asked questions from community members. Uh, hello. Uh, tonight of, uh, is a discussion. It's not a formal uh, interview. Uh, I would like to share this with you, with, uh, with our audience, that so that you will know that how we discuss questions, how do we share information, share knowledge among the team, among each other. That's how we work normally. In order to let you know that how the discuss, uh, question will be answered, discussed, among our uh, Dao Yi members internally. So please feel free to ask any question. And uh, I, like I said, I'm not good in front of the camera, but I try my best to answer the question as clear as I can. Uh, this is exciting. Um, so I'd like to get the ball rolling by asking, how did Dao Yi come together? Because we were all here a couple of years ago with an idea, and it's been a long time to get to where we are now. So can you help give us a, a brief introduction about the vision that made this happen and how we got where we are now? I think, first of all, all of us share the same concepts, same intention that we should create an organization or team, a group to work on certain projects that will benefit everyone, for every one of us, which is beyond, like I live in Montreal, beyond Montreal, this area. So um, with the uh, technology that we can make it happen, uh, even more interesting that under help from a lot of uh, community experts, we made it happen. Of course, we will work more and more in the future to improve the, the, the quality of our content with, the, uh, uh, with uh, working with others to the community. That's the original idea of the concept. Uh, so far, we have, uh, we have been, uh, been, uh, interviewed many, many experts. And uh, all of them shared valuable information, knowledge, and their expertise with us and with the community. So any achievement I belong to them, we are just the one as a hub to connect people together. That's our function. Thank you, Master Yang. Um, so 
we'll open up the floor in just a second uh, to everybody else. But I do have one more question, which is New Year 2024 is coming very soon. Happy New Year, everybody. And I want to ask, what is Dowie going to be doing in the new year? We don't have to say too much, but uh, let's give the audience a little bit of a taste of some of the ideas that we have to come. We have a few interesting plan, but one come to the mind the one when you ask this question is that a um, couple of weeks ago during our um, weekly meeting, we discussed the possibility to organize some round the table discussion. We will invite some community experts to share the information to focus on certain topics and in an openly friendly manner. We will try to reach this step. And I believe many experts will be help us to make this work in the future. So that's okay. the uh, number one. Number two, for longer term, we 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 I really think that it's necessary to to collaborate with uh, more teachers and uh, more experts. Then we set up, we choose some uh, common, commonly agreed practice, then use them as commonly uh, applied the principle to guide our principle. I believe all the style has have their own advantages. However, we, we, we have certain aspects that we commonly agree upon each other. And uh, those principles should be shared uh, with the community. And that will be a longer term plan, but we will, we will start to build this project from now on, let's say after New Year. So we have to connect more experts, more uh, community members to make it happen. I think that it will be an interesting, exciting um, project that will benefit many people in the future. I might have a question also. Um, we're talking about expanding the community. Uh, is there any plans on the long term to have translations in uh, different languages? I think it's very necessary. Uh, right now, we we mainly focus on the English language, but later on, we we have to find some uh, you know um, people help us to work to uh, overcome the challenges caused by the linguistic barriers that. Uh, for example, uh, among the non-English language, even even Mandarin or Cantonese Chinese, then to English or maybe other language like French or the major languages, we 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 need someone to help us to make it happen. And so far, of course, in Canada, our official language is English and the French, and uh, my official language is uh, Chinese, <laughs> but personally, but even just make the three languages available, it is a challenging. We we know that with the I think in the future, with the help of the technology, and it may become much easier, but never good as the, you know, like the, the people, this kind of expert, this kind of translation. So we will find a solution to overcome this first, technically, then we move on to make this happen. I think that's the, I, I strongly believe that technology will help us, at least in the writing format, will be possible. Great, so thank you. Is, we, should, we should work on this. Thank you for, ask it the question and let's find a solution. I have a quick question. Um, do you think at any point in the near future that you are going to give us an interview yourself? Of course, I would love to do so. But the thing is, like we said in the beginning, Dao Yi is for the community. And I do, I, like I said, I have a YouTube channel. I have a lot of material on the YouTube already. And many people know about my work, my, my videos. And uh, if I take a lot of, lot of time to talk about myself, the, it, it, it seems like the uh, derailed from the, the objective of, the, of this, uh, of our, is the principle of our Dao uh, Yi uh, as organization. So one time already, please, I hope someone, maybe Bill you will give me an interview and uh, I would love to share more information, deeper information about myself, about what I believe uh, with the community member. Thank you, that'd be great. Thank you. Well, it's it's good we have you cornered today, so we can sort of pepper you with questions, right? Yeah, um, please. I'd like to I'd like to expand this out a little bit because one of the things that might be fascinating for our audience to know more about is the the situation of internal arts and and Xiodao practice in in China. Um, so I'd like to ask you, given your experience, um, what you think the 
I know it's going to be a little bit of a general question, but what you think the the general trend in internal martial arts practice has been in China over the last few years, and how that will reflect the quality or, or understanding of practice here? Um, it's a big question. Let let's simplify this first. Like myself, to through the answer, in China from the last ten about the ten or five or ten years this time, it's a lot of a new generation of teachers started teaching based on their understanding. Like myself is considered kind of an older generation already. So the material become different. The way of teaching become different. The way how to communicate, communicate with others are different. I'm considered kind of old fashioned teaching already right now. So, so I'm very happy to see the diversity and the, uh, we say the inclusiveness of a different style in teaching. Uh, about the quality, well, it's very hard to judge, but I would like to say that more and more that the traditional concept and the practice has been diluted with the modernized teaching method. Because a lot of the younger generations cannot differentiate between the teaching style or teaching approach and the content of teaching. They think I use modern way to teach, like use the internet, use the uh, website, use the different uh, um, um, marketing um, method. And then my teaching material will be changed as well. I think that's the common mistake, first of all. Second thing is that is when people to teach, very often people try to create their own practice due to the lack of uh, traditional, or we say, the deep understanding of the art. So the common mistake is that when people don't know how to answer the question, then they just create a new question, then answer the question based on their uh, predefined question. So which is the way to dilute the, or we say the original, authentic, traditional, the right practice? That is kind of uh, unexpected, is unfortunate, um, I don't use the word the trend because trend will happen, will happen in the future, right? I say the phenomena. And I believe with time, the community, the, this kind of issue will be corrected by themselves. That's the second point. Third thing is that, third thing is that um, I, I, really, I really want to see a higher level of uh, collaboration inside of just a social gathering. Very often in China now, People, we talk about the teacher, no matter online, offline, they seem, they seem to respect each other in the socially, in the social manner, in the kind of social setting. But in reality, we need a deep level of uh, communication, collaboration, or just the sharing or exchanging of knowledge instead of just say, you know, um, each one is great on the surface, then behind each other, they create at each other, you know. So that's the, another issue is happening. Uh, I believe because it's caused by the lack of a trust, lack of a trust. So I hope Dao Yi will build the bridge among different teachers, among different styles, among different countries, among different cultures, among different generations. Then if we can get this done, that will be the day we will say that Dao Yi really plays a function or, or the, the, it's a role in the development of the style in the future. So I hope this kind of summarize this kind of a, you know, a statement answer the question. Again, it's very hard to answer. I, because I don't want to be, people say, hey, he is always criticized others. No, not at all. I, because I know what the problem is. I talk about the question. I hope we find a solution to solve the problem. Pointing the finger is the first step. Pointing the finger is the first step because we know what it is. Then we, we're looking for a solution to improve the situation by solving the problem is hopefully. Then if we get this done, that will be our achievement in the future for the community, with community, and by the community. Thank you. Thank you. If I may have a, another one for you. Um, I've seen a lot of people who follow Dawi who are either living in remote locations or simply in a city where there's not many practitioners around them with whom uh, they can practice. Do you have any general advice for people who have a hard time finding a partner to train uh, in martial arts uh, on how to learn and how to 
develop their practice? Oh, there's a many way to do so. First of all, when we talk about the, the, the practice, there's many layers, many la oh, many content. Later talk about the, the relationship among each other, but if we break down those content, they will be they will have a single exercise and then routine application, partner practice, weapon, there's many things. So if if there's without no partner, they can focus on the power training, flexibility training, and the uh, martial energy training, old practice theory, then of course, sooner or later, they will find some training partners and then set up a regular schedule to work on this. I need like two person practice is essential to practice application. Without this step, no matter how much you practice, you won't reach the same uh, level or same benefit. So the, but in order to do so, a self practice or preparation or prerequisite and, and it's important as well. So we, I think the people should make effort to find the training partner. And right now, I don't, I don't think a lot of remote place in, in, in the world that right? there's no people live there like a hermit, right? If that hermit, they will stay, they, will, they choose to stay by themselves, then you don't need to practice application. I, I strongly believe any martial art is, uh, should be practiced in the society with other people staying in a mountain and isolated by himself without communicating with anyone, he will never be able to reach good level. People will never fly, will be able to fly because without having a wings. So having a training partner, partner is like having a, a pair of wings to help us fly. That's the incentive step. People should make effort to solve the problem. It's nothing to do to, re, to really like replace this in reality. I just I have to say this. It uh, may not be a good answer, but it's, it's how I feel this. And uh, I've never seen anyone just by practicing by themselves, they reach a great level. Very hard, very difficult. Thank you. Alrighty, well, so I guess I'll jump back in. Um, something I've always been interested in is um, how, how the culture developed over time, which is uh, sort of pursuant to my last question. One of the interesting things about you is that you were um, living in, in Tianjin, but the Tianjin, Beijing area, uh, during a very important time in the development of the internal martial arts and in the development of Qigong and Taoist Shodao. A lot of things happened in the 1980s and 90s. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering, um, my personal interest is in the internal martial arts and, and Xiodao, but especially Xiodao practice. And I'm wondering, um, one of the things that is very confusing for us in the Taoism community in the West is to understand um, what's the differentiation? There are many people who practice meditation who are totally secular people and have no relationship with the Taoist religion. But there's also many Taoist religious people that practice. And in China, I always feel like they communicated together. But sometimes in Western countries, we separate them into two groups. And I'm wondering, is your in your experience, um, during that period when the, the temples reopened and people started to talk about these things publicly, what was the experience of, of secular people and religious people together in Taoism at that time? It's a really, really good question. I only can answer this question based on my uh, observation experience. I only can say that I cannot say on behalf of other people because on the, on, upon the same phenomenon, different people have a different perception. I only say based on my understanding and the people I know, I will share. The, I know a lot of people will share the same, uh, the same agreement, the same understanding. In China, there's never be a problem between religious group and the secular or with a non-religious group in terms of practice. We share the practice together. You are free or entitled to believe whatever you want, and uh, in in in. Or with or without religious belief. But for the practice, they share the same technique. Also, people go to the temple, like in Taoism, we say Taoism temple, okay? I know a lot of people in the temple. And, uh, and uh, many of them do not practice any internal, uh, we say Nei Dan, internal elixir, internal, uh, we say the, this kind of uh, alchemy, or internal at all. They just practice religion, religious practice. It's not that you, you practice out the religion, then you have the money. Things. No, you just uh, they have the certain ritual to follow as the religion Taoism. And the, but, but however, when people practice the Taoism meditation or Xiu Dao, they have to practice focus on a technique without or with with or without understanding 
Taoism as a religion. In the West, I have seen some, uh, uh, I, don't use, I don't want to use the word issue, I just use phenomena, that uh, religious people will claim that without understanding Taoism as a religion, you cannot achieve a Tao. But that kind of uh, claim, uh, people who have the claim, even cannot define what Tao is. Second, if you practice that, if someone practice like myself, we practice Taoism, uh, internal alchemy, internal energy. I respect people practice Taoism religion, but I do not have to pray to Lao Tzu or to, to San Qing in order to experience energy flow in the body. So if people focus on the practice without um, arguing or debating about the existence of the Taoism God or not, or who is the biggest, the most powerful Taoism God, or what's the development of Taoism, Taoism this the one or the, 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 the deity or the Taoism system in the history, and or who created the Taoism God in, in, according to Taoism religion, right? That, then we won't, we, won't, we won't have any problem. The problem is that people do not talk about the practice, they talk about the politics instead of focusing on the practice itself. So that, that's the big issue, what my observation. Um, in China, I personally, I never experienced this, okay? I never experienced this. We try to respect each other. You believe in God, you believe whatever you believe, no problem. Let's drink tea together. Then we talk about practice. You don't like my tea, I drink your tea. You, you think both tea not good, let's buy a cup of coffee. Right, pan the, pan the, we spend a five dollar, you know, Canadian, you Canadian dollar, you US dollar in China, similar price, and with the same exchange rate, uh, right? So we don't have that problem, but so 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 for a long time, I try not to get involved with the thousand religious people or group in North America because I really don't know what they think about. Why, if, if I see their their photo, their image, their video, they try like ordinary people like myself, but wear some fancy thousand uniform. I, 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 this is how I see this. So I hope in the future, uh, no one will argue about uh, about the days with me. If they argue with me, I just say, thank you very much. I learned something with you. Thank you. I will say this. Thank you. Thank you. You just mentioned that uh, you would drink uh, tea with uh, basically anyone. Is there uh, any teas in uh, 2023 that you haven't uh, tried so far that you hope to try this year? I don't know. I I have I don't know how many have a tea have I have a drink drink. I have a huge collection of tea. I have a two hundred pound of tea and maybe one hundred type of in, in, in my house. But recently I enjoyed the coffee. Not recently for the last few years I enjoyed the coffee. To like yesterday I just ordered a new uh, a new espresso machine and made in Italy. So if you arrive here maybe in, after New Year. So, so I, I enjoy coffee a lot recently. So I like coffee and the tea. I try to study how to preach the one is I failed because I couldn't. I don't, I don't want to become alcoholic. I cannot I have lack of self-control, so I stopped. But recently I am developing strong interest to appreciate the coffee. The, the machine will come to my home right now. I I spend hours every day to, to, to watch a YouTube video about how to manage this machine, how to operate this machine, how to manage the timing. The, the, the how to grind the, 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 the coffee coffee beans and oh so interesting. So in the future, let's talk about the coffee and the tea together. So this is the, the coffee study thing made me think of something. Uh, I think a really fascinating um, thing that, that I've, I've learned from you over the years is that you're really passionate about studying. And uh, I remember years ago, maybe close to close to 20 years ago, you said, I asked you about the Tao, and you said, you know, I don't, I don't know what it is. In the center of my life, there's a principle. And I try to put all of my practices and all of my ideas around that principle. The principle in the center is intangible. I, I can't touch it, but I can at least feed into it, and I can take energy from it. And so it made me think about, um, you know, as I developed in in, in my thinking, um, I read the, the very first entry of the Confucian Analects, um, which says to study and constantly review is uh, is a real joy. And I want to uh, touch on that briefly. When um, another issue I think that people in Western countries have sometimes is that they have a strong preference for 
uh, a certain kind of Chinese philosophy, let's say Zhuangzi, they have a strong preference for the free, comfortable, open, open feeling that they get from people like Zhuangzi. But sometimes they don't like Confucius so much because they view it as very rules oriented. But it seems like you put a lot of effort into uh, manifesting a lot of things that that school of thought um, was promoting, such as uh, learning and trying to be, uh, you know, do upright behavior and and really um, focus on the the core essentials in in life and in practice. And I'm wondering if you can introduce us a little bit to uh, your understanding of, let's say, the Confucian philosophy next to the Taoist philosophy, and how we how we can. Um, can make those things reconciled together when sometimes we see big difference between them? That's a, a very deep question, actually. Um, briefly speaking, or simply speaking, I love Confucianism because it really helped people, help myself at least, help us to, um, to reach a certain level that reflects the self-cultivation, which is a spiritual level. Taoism practice, like Zhuangzi or Laozi, those kinds of sages, this work, they focus more on the technique. So for the practice or technique perspective, Taoism is the best system in terms of practice. When you read the Taoism ancient document, it's just like a training menu, okay? How to focus, how to practice at which certain level, what will happen. And uh, like a training manual, it's a well-developed. I learned, I do not want to say all of the major school, but I can say most of the school. I studied and uh, the Bible, even Quran, and uh, Taoism, Buddhism, Confucianism. I mean, I love most of ism. Maybe in the future, I will study teaism or coffeeism. But I, I, I love this. Um, but about the personal uh, self-cultivation in terms of spirituality or self self uh, Discipline, Confucianism will really give people um, the great benefit in terms of uh, understanding ourselves. We start understanding ourselves. How can we say we understand the the society, the universe, or other people? Even 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 many people say, well, it's a, it's a difficult to understand ourselves because understand others even more challenging by following the Confucius concept. Uh, it will, we can go, to, we can move toward this step a little bit further. Also, interesting concept of a Confucianism is not to convert themselves from the, the third and the fourth generation of the Confucian school. Because in Confucian school, there are four generations, Confucius, monks, monks, and the Zhu, 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 Zhu Xi, and then the Wang, Wang Yangming, which is the, in the Ming Dynasty. So for each hundred years, there's the important uh, thinkers will contribute, would contribute great um, ideas to the, to the school of thought. The Zhu Xi, from the Zhu, from the third one and the fourth, they really emphasize on the self-cultivation or zheng qi, or righteous energy, which is a strong spiritual belief, st strong spiritual support, strong spiritual system that to motivate ourselves, to support ourselves, to keep going, especially when we are facing a challenging time in our life, in the society. So this is why I really believe that Confucianism really, especially the, the later the new Confucianism, really can motivate ourselves go, to go further. And in, no, no matter, Confucianism or Taoism, they just based on when you ask me what I thought about something. It's a famous uh, uh, quote, okay? Dao yi jiao ren. The Tao will help someone, will teach someone. However, yi ren zai dao. The Tao should be carried by people. So there's no separation between Tao or principle or energy with our individual, with our in which so we we are the ones should be able to uh, harmonize with the Tao or with the principle. At the same time, we should be the one to express this, to demonstrate, demonstrate this through our own belief, behavior, attitude, our hard working. So these two tendencies the perfect express the relationship between ourselves and the study or the practice. 
Though, so any great concept, a uh, system, no matter who of them, doubt them, should be you know studied and uh, practiced um, by yourself and without differentiating and what the concept belong to which school. If, even if I think in the end, in the end of the day, all the great system merge as one. So that's just like in in the ancient China from the about from the Ming early Ming Dynasty even later Song Dynasty. The San Jiao He Yi or San Jia He Yi three school merge as one or three sub three concept integrated as one, including Confucianism, Ru Jiao, Shi or Buddhism, Dao or Daoism as one. That concept really benefit the later generations even today. So myself, I do not limit myself to any specific isms. I just absorb, digest. Apply any good nutrients, just like I said, the, the tea, coffee, and other milkshakes to benefit ourselves. I hope that answered your question. Yes, thank you very much. So, um, guys, if anybody else has a couple more questions, then uh, feel free to go ahead. And then after that, maybe we'll start to slowly wrap it up. All right. Well, let's have a last question, then I'll, I'll propose it. So we know what we know approximately what Dawi is gonna do in the new year. We're gonna have round tables. We're gonna try to cooperate more with experts. Um, we're gonna look into the language thing. But what are you guys up to for New Year's? What's the what's the plan, guys? Okay, let him answer it question first. Okay, my my plan is that to to check myself to see what I I have done right during the two thousand twenty three, and then. To make some brief plan, like myself, I do not make a long term plan. I especially, especially right now, right, it's so hard to predict what will happen. So what I do is I only make three months, six months, maximum one year plan. Then I try to follow up this because we are living a really special time. Right? Recently, many global event has happened, and uh, and uh, really make our like original all the time, all the fashion planning process challenging. So, so I will just make a short term plan, uh, make my, my myself more organized, and I will make more video to 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 build my uh, my my YouTube channel and, and uh, have a better information, better material. And more importantly, I will work work with uh, all other founding members and other. And the, the, the members and the many audiences and the many experts will build Dao Yi as an organization that can benefit more people in the future. Of course, right, we have to work on step by step, but we have to have a you know long-term goal to work on this. That's my basic plan. Great. How about you, Laurent? I hope to focus a little bit more on uh, meditation to get better awareness when I practice martial arts. And uh, more specifically about uh, Bagua, I hope to learn more about uh, Bapanjang. I studied it and I really, really enjoyed that practice. So I hope to develop it further uh, this year. Mark. Great. Lokesh, what are, what are you up to? Uh, as far as practice goes, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm already doing. And as far as Dawi is concerned, I have a few features plan that I'm working on. And once those are ready, I'll uh, by the way, I have to mention this, okay? Um, he is the person who helped me the most on my YouTube channel. Yeah. He his, he used his the academic and the other uh, talent and knowledge to help me to develop the, the YouTube channel. If you like my YouTube channel, you have to appreciate him. Uh, he helped me to improve my Eng English, to correct my grammar, spelling, to clarify the meaning, definition. He always challenged me, sometimes making me feel so upset because he want to improve the quality of the video. So I appreciate him. I want to take this opportunity to express my gratification. Okay. Thank so you, Loki. I... Okay. Keep going. <laughs> so I upset Master Yang and I'm still living. <laughs> That's an achievement. <laughs> well, I think we all should thank you, Lokesh. Yeah, absolutely. That, you okay, know, Bill, how about, how about you? Help. What are you going to get up to, Bill? 
Uh, that information is classified. That information is so classified. You're on, you're on a need to know basis on that one, Robert. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to get up to. I'm going to go for a run in the forest on New Year's Day to try to work through some of these coffee milkshakes. <laughs> Too many nutrients uh, over the Christmas break. So, anyway, um, all right. So we're gonna we're gonna take it out. You want to wrap it up for us, Bill? Yeah, I just wanted to say to all of our viewers and listeners out there, we wish you a happy New Year on behalf of the entire Dowie team, and we wish you the best of luck with your progress in 2024. And we hope that you'll join us in making all of our collective goals become a reality. Thank you.